I was in the perfect spot right above that tree. Perfect place to bask and jump in the water if need be. Now they are grazing on grass like they goats. Oh, cool. yeah. Just grabbed a fish, a pelican. Aren't, those are marine birds, right? You should go for that one. Man, there we go. Woo! On a massive lizard. Today, man, we are gonna be out at some of the jobs, and it's cold out. You can see we've got our jackets, but we decided to come out here and try to remove some of these iguanas. It's like the last phase of like the, the mating season right now, huh? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's that mating season is here. It's prime time. It's mad. We're gonna put them in the back. That's right. That's right. So right now we really want to take advantage of some of these big uh, macho male iguanas that are out for the last phase of the mating season. But after the mating season, breeding season. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So if we can get some of these big macho guys out before breeding takes place, shoot, we're going to have a good strategy on trying to control some of these numbers. Quick, I'm going to show you guys how I just do a snare right quick. So I get this uh, line. I just put a little loop on it with a swivel. And everybody, you know, they got their own way of doing uh, the snare. That's fine. This is just the way that, you know, I've done it. Me and CJ have been doing this for a couple years now. So it's just a simple way. Uh, I think it's... How heavy do you think this line is, CJ? You do a lot of fishing. What do you think? Uh, it's up there. It's Could up be there. A little, um, it's like the consistency of like a weed whacker. Mm -hmm. A little oh, bit yeah. less than that. So just a little thick but remember like you know just like regular fishing line eventually there's going to be wear and tear so that's why we're changing it and then just like that we have a perfectly new lasso loop that we're going to use on our catch pole and you can use any type of material like i said you can use fishing line you can use this uh you could even use wire or braided line too it's just a, a iguana guys looks pretty red to me Got it. He's got it. Oh, your boy still got it. That was crazy. Nice snatch. Oh. You done, my guy? Nope. I don't think you're good, man. Ooh. Ooh, a feisty fella. Oh, upset. I disturbed his breakfast. I said these are going to like to eat. Is this landscape? And since we've been doing some removal, you can see that some are actually starting to sprout out, which is great. This is a pretty cool iguana right here. It's a pretty decent looking lizard. It's oh, like, yeah. he's in like the transition of like green to orange. I'm whipper snapper, ladies and gentlemen. So it's like the end of the mating season. So this guy right here could just be turning from a regular green guy into- it's mad dominance. It's complete dominance. It's a reptile that's gonna be a Mufasa in the reptile kingdom. Guys, it's been cold. It was in the 50s last night and you think he's like warming up from your body heat, CJ? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm kind of warm. He is definitely getting brighter, you guys can see right now. He's very <laughs> feisty. I don't know what's going on, but look, his colors are brightening up as we speak. Oh, man. He was just kind of dark just a second ago, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen some come over here and then disappear out of nowhere, and then CJ right there just solved a piece of the mystery where they're going at. You see one? In the tree? Yeah, look to come. Oh, completely to your right. Oh, oh, we go. Shoot, good eye, bro. Bro. Thank you, man. I think I think I'm happy we got him, but I think we sacrificed. Yep. 
Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh. oh. What are the odds of that? Stop digging in your nose. Oh shoot, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dang. I got the pole. Well, like I said, thank you CJ for grabbing me right there. Edge, working at this. Look at that, What that's gotta be like, I don't know the, the degree of angle or uh, steepness. But man, it does a number on your ankles, man. That's, this guy was in the perfect spot right above that tree. Perfect place to bask and jump in the water if need be. This guy right here, you can see he's trying to turn orange. He's not quite as orange as this guy. This guy still has a little green in him. Oh, yeah. Just the, the mere size and just the, the women just to fight in these animals is just ridiculous. No lie, bro. It definitely is. These are some tough creatures out here and they are perfectly adapted to survive in the Florida ecosystem. Uh, it seems like all four seasons. We need to get a little colder, CJ. Yeah, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. If it can get 10 degrees cooler, it looks like they're not frozen quite fully yet. Nope, not yet. So we're gonna have to try to catch them the old fashioned way. Just now is like just how abstract these iguanas are. CJ mentioned that this, the last one that we caught, he like, how did you even see that thing? It was, it, no, there was one in the tree when we were catching the big orange one and taking care of them over here. It looked like it was a squirrel, but it was just like a really dark, small female. And I was like, this uh, tree is really shaded, so like she's blending in with the shade. And like as soon as they go out into like the sun, they start getting their color back. Sun, they get that green and they just have all the energy they need. CJ, you're up next, man. I had one, you had one. And just like CJ is saying, with this cold weather, it could work to our advantage because the iguanas might not have that much energy. It's just, oh, it's just small. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So, Plus you're just sitting there in the sun. Yeah, it's kind of like a stone. Kind of like a stone. You guys probably can't see it right now, but CJ's on the iguana. And sunbathing, you gotta be very still like you said, bro. Crap, CJ. Nice. Check that out. <laughs> a nice sheet. Wow. But a little bit darker. Like this one was black. <laughs> like that's how dark it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I think it's going to give us an advantage today, Whoa. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it's going to definitely give so. an advantage. A couple, of, a couple of seconds of that advantage. Right now, the sun is coming out. So this might be a good time for us to go out, CJ. Oh, yeah. I think so. Go check out some other spots, man. You see him all right? It's crazy, man. Check that out. It's like they just, like, came out of the tree. Now they are grazing on grass like they goats. It's like a nematode. He's out. Oh, yep, yeah, he's on him. I think she learned her lesson. Several times I failed. Try it, try it again. So, oh, yeah. The water? Did you see how big one? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, let's go. Oh, pet. Oh, what? Dude, did he just grab a. He just grabbed a fish. He just grabbed a fish, a pelican. Aren't, those are marine birds, right? to 
that one. Probably got into a fight with a raccoon or something. Let's take a look at him. That thing's huge, whoa. Shoot. Could have died from the cold too. The thing with this cold weather, guys, is it's getting in the 50s in the middle of the night, like in the early, in the early hours. So iguana falls down, bangs his head, goes in the water, or just goes in the water. It could be frozen. It could sink straight down and be in there for like, you know, hours. out on a massive lizard i don't even know how you've seen that bro that's like the same color as the stump the roots yeah man check this out guys same color as that root right there you see you saw him right there yeah he might have uh, went up the tree oh yeah oh i see him cj Nice help. That is. Gotta let him. Yeah, oh. Grab the stick. Oh, okay. Just kind of free that guy up out of there. Yes, sir. Just gotta dislodge the beast. Oh. oh. Iowa. I would have never seen them. Yep, back legs, yep. Exactly. Check this out. CJ, you saw this right here? Oh! Wow. These iguanas aren't smart. I don't know what it is. Very smart, well, very smart. Just the amount of different habitats and ecosystem they can they can live in. It's wet, very damp. It's like the bottom of the tree. That's where all the moisture goes, so it's going to be like easy to dig up for them. Oh, dang. I didn't think about that one. Very soft, moist. So it's probably like a nice humid den underneath there. All them roots and stuff like that. Yeah. Especially from all that moisture. Oh, yeah. Perfect place to den. Dang. That's right. Remember, when that when that rain falls, yep. goes in the ground, the roots suck it up and give yep. it to the tree. Without any tree here, there was a tree here. Exactly. All that moisture is going in there. It's crazy how the iguanas know exactly what to what the tree could do for their eggs and they dig exactly right here it is going every time and that's how i got that one that eye that one and done shot sometimes he'd be right here and then sometimes he'd be across across the yeah, i see one in the big over tree on that side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like my favorite part is the tail you can't keep it you don't need the leg but my favorite part yeah, but, is the tail and then the second favorite part you know what scallops are? Mm -hmm. I hate scallops. This That's right like here scallops. is way better than a scallop. That's a big one. Oh yeah. That's a, That's a good eater. Right there. Right there. Shot. Thanks, man. Oh, that's oh, that's this that's wood's a live, live flowers because I spent too much money for for uh, uh, real flowers. Fake flowers, guys. They these, even those ones too. Goes like this, everything. You got it. You want, you want to get this one or just? This one, this one. Back here, right? Yeah. Oh, she's 
on, Captain. Right. You should go for that one. Yeah, let's say go to the tree. Epic removal job, thanks to the Iguana Ninja coming out here. No problem, man. Big help, man. We've seen a lot, we took out a lot. There might be some frozen Iguanas. If so, we'll let you guys know. Let's enjoy this Iguana removal. Iguana Ninja, thank you so much. For no problem. Man. Comment and subscribe to Friend Rosh, the Iguana Man with the Iguana Ninja. All right, we'll see you guys on the next episode.